You know, I said this on the stream, but I think it bears repeating here to start that one thing I like about Atlas Earth is that it's probably the only game, not just that you can treat it like a beer money app, but it is also the only game that I see where instead of the whales being entertained by us, the whales entertain us. <laughs> so anyway, hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, back with another Atlas Earth video. And this is going to be the last one for this week. I know we've done like two streams in two days and now this video. And I know there's a lot of you who are sick of Atlas Earth content, but... Look, this isn't something that happens every day, all right? Matter of fact, the last time this happened was a little over a year ago as we have a new U.S. president in Atlas Earth. Now, because the United States was where Atlas Earth started out, uh, we have a massive head start over everyone else in terms of parcel count. The U.S. president is basically the current world leader in Atlas Earth, so whenever we have a new U.S. president, we basically de facto have a new leader on the world leaderboard. If that ever changes, I'm sure Manning will tell us in a Whale Wars video of his on Vimeo. So anyways, last night, Maximus Damages was looking to take the presidency from Stealth G605 being around 500 or 600 back. However, the moment Shaman 15, who's currently in third place, took Illinois from Stealth, and it was likely he saw that notification and started buying right when Maximus Damages got within about 75 to 80 of him, and that pretty much ruined the night for Max. By the way, thank you to everyone who was there for that stream. We broke records last night with 64 watching. It was crazy. I'm sure if it went a little longer, we might have even started flirting with triple digits. Anyway, at the wee early hours of the morning, 7.40 a.m. Eastern, I got up and noticed Maximus was buying again, so I turned on the stream on a Monday morning right before I went to work to an audience of 12 at 7.57 a.m., Maximus Damages became the new president of Atlas Earth. So, let's talk about a few questions that you've all been wondering. First, uh, just like with Stealth, how much did he actually spend on Atlas Earth? Well, I should say actually, but possibly. I'm going to give a good little guesstimate here. It could be less, could be more. We'll see. And how much do you have to spend to catch him and Stealth? Second, will Stealth G605 retaliate? And third, why, even though this is all absolutely great for our entertainment, why it would be absolutely terrible for your wallet. I mean, this one should be obvious, but it needs to be said. So, let's get started, everyone. The big number first. How much did Maximus Damages spend? I mentioned before in the previous video, Morning in Atlas Earth, that Stealth G605 spent about $80,000 to take the presidency from Open Boosters. And Open Boosters did not respond back, so he pretty much just... Moved in for another 2,000 afterwards. I think it was like 2,000 parcels or so afterward. It is estimated. We did estimate how much he had in residuals and parcels. And even with that, I feel like he did put around another $20,000 into the game. Uh, that also kind of doubled his parcel count. So if you combine them together, that kind of makes a little bit of sense. So I put about 20000 to 30000 or so like that. So um, the reason why that, despite having like 20,000, 25,000 parcels uh, laid down since then is because the residuals as U.S. president is enough that it alone can get you around 60 to 80 parcels a day. And maybe even more as this game has grown a lot since then. And I'm giving conservative estimates here. I put down the Stealth G605 has spent somewhere around a hundred to $110,000 on the game. Now, Maximus Damages, on the other hand, had to use a cash infusion in order to eventually overtake Stealth. Uh, I know that he had like a few thousand in residuals while going around grabbing parcels over the last few weeks. Um, and he also had some parcels when he started the game in July as well. So if we just say that he had, I don't know, a couple thousand or so, we can say that he basically bought one of the $100,000 packages and one of the $50,000 packages, though it could be 200Ks, but we're just assuming he did enough to just get over the hump. So he has spent around $150,000 in the game. Uh, actually, um, I'm going to show the leaderboard here as well to show you that he is actually well ahead in health stealth. So I'm going to say it's closer to about $160,000 at this point. 
Now, um, he could have spent closer to 200000 if he's trying to be efficient with his Atlas Bucks and was planning to put down, you know, 60, 65K parcels, but that is no guarantee. I can only go based off the numbers he's done now. Next, I'm going to talk about how much Maximus Damages is currently making from his $150,000, $160,000. So let's go ahead and go, oh, a matter of fact, why did I turn this? There we go. Let me go ahead and get his total parcel count. There's his parcel count right there. I'm going to apply it to the Atlas Earth calculator. And there we go. So uh, I did keep it at 24 hours a day with Boost since he is an Explorer Club member. But we go down here and we see that he is making on regular days, boosting 24-7, about $18.41 a day. He would also make $613 and 65 cents for a 32 hour super rent boost, assuming he stays at 53,800 parcels, giving him a total of $1,738 a month. And we're gonna subtract 50 from that because of the Explorer Club, and that is $1,688 per month. So as you can see here, that without residuals to accelerate his parcel count, so that will help things uh, close the gap a little bit on his investment. Uh, he's making about $20,860 a year, and if you're assuming he's spent about $160,000, then you can say that he's going to make his money back in about eight years, maybe a little under. It's seven and a half to eight years. Um, we're going to go up here, though, and we can see, though, that he's going to get enough residuals, though, as the uh, president of Atlas Earth, that I'm pretty sure he's going to look at something very similar to what Stealth was getting, where... He'll get enough or he'll be able to put down a whole bunch of parcels. I'm going to assume that he will probably uh, get his money back if he stays president at around the same time that Stealth would, around the five and three quarter to six year mark. And I'm going to say it might be a around that much because even though there are more people playing the game and that's creating uh, more likelihood that people will get that US badge, there are also going to be more people who will not be uh, getting those badges very soon because of a particular feature that has just been announced by Manning, but that is going to be for another time. Now, will Stealth G605 retaliate? Uh, the answer to this is most certainly yes. In fact, I dare say that unless Maximus is planning to go at this for the long haul and try to get to a point where Stealth will not be able to catch him, Stealth will almost certainly retake the presidency, at least temporarily. I mentioned before on my last Whale Wars video that Stealth G605 conservatively was making about 2,000 parcels a month from residuals alone, and this is a conservative estimate. This is not counting if he wishes to reinvest his money into even more parcels. And don't forget that the game has grown significantly since I made those initial calculations. I only pushed for about a 50% growth in badge buying. So knowing that and that his last big haul before waking up was around July and it's been about two and a half months, almost three months, conservative estimates say he has about 5,000 to 6,000 parcels in his war chest and he's laid down a little over 1,700 from that at the time of his video to ward off Maximus Damages, telling me he still has around 3,800 parcels remaining. Stealth is far from done. And if Maximus wants to start taking that power away from Stealth a little more permanently, he's going to have to hold on to the presidencies till around 8 p.m. Eastern each night when those badge payouts come in. That is basically the best way Maximus can deal damage to Stealth. It's almost become a minigame in itself, if you think about it. As long as Maximus keeps buying in the morning and keeps himself at arm's distance from Stealth the entire day, he can keep taking days away, which would be days of badge income that Stealth cannot have anymore, of the US badges. Like I said, I think stealth is far from done, and I feel like Maximus will have to get to around 60,000 parcels, and maybe even a little bit beyond that, in order to start feeling safe from stealth's push. Also remember, stealth can also put more money of his own, and possibly make things a little bit more interesting for Maximus. So, you know, anything can happen at this point. It's all going to come down to who puts more money down. Now, I talk about this because it's for our entertainment and you guys enjoy it. And plus it gives me a lot of math to show you exactly why 
you should not do this yourself. All right, look, I'm, I don't want to be the Debbie Downer about this, but this is kind of my disclaimer because, you know, I'm not a gaming channel. I'm a finance channel. Most of my videos are about finance, or if it's about Atlas Earth, it's something like this. You see here how much they've been investing. You know how much they're going to, you know, it's going to take them at best, at best five and a half years to get their money back. And that's if Maximus remains president. I personally think at this point, we've gotten to a point, at least in the United States and maybe in some of the areas that Rainbow Ultra has taken, some of the countries that he's taken, where it wouldn't be a good strategy to try to take the presidency anymore as sort of a way to hope that you can speed up your returns, at least in my opinion. At this point, if you are using Atlas Earth to make money, I would guide you, especially if you are not a veteran, to not put any money into the game. And if you're going to put any money into the game at all, I know I mentioned before Explorer Club was an option, but there might be a better option. Uh, again, that video is coming down very, very soon. But if you want my opinion on this, I'm just letting you know that if you want to make money, don't just start throwing in five figures worth of parcels and try to win some kind of major mayorship of a big city or some governorship thinking that you're going to get your money back in any appropriate amount of time. All right, it's going to be a long time. You'd be better off putting your money into the stock market if you're going to do that. If you're going to put any money at all, think of it like entertainment. Or if you're going to put any money at all and think that you can get some kind of return, like I said, there's the bang for the buck with the Explorer Club and this upcoming premium pass thing, which again, I know I've been mentioning this a few times, We'll be talking about it uh, in the November 1st update, all right? But with that being said, I do want to thank Stealth G605 and Maximus Damages for giving us a heck of a ride the last couple days. You guys have been awesome, and I want to thank you all too for watching the stream, and congratulations to Maximus Damages, the new president of Atlas Earth. And that's pretty much the video, everyone. Um, I think I covered all the bases in this one. Uh, this will be the last Atlas Earth video for about a week and a half. Uh, the next one will be about the premium pass. Was it the premium pass or the rate of return? It's going to be one of those two, but I'm going to do them one after the other. Um, in the meantime, I got a few other videos coming in, so be sure to check them out. Also, I want to mention, too, that I changed times with the Beer Money Brew. It is now 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern, so come check that out on Saturdays. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, everyone. If you like this video, give it a like. Give your congratulations to Maximus Damages in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. I am Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, signing out. I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.